the massive iron gates. It's the first sign this is more than just another driveway. It's the street name that gives it away, though, the other James Brown Boulevard, the one that leads to the Godfather's house, and we have exclusive access. The long sloping driveway takes you directly to the home itself, a single-story ranch sitting on about 80 acres. Over here, a six-car garage. Over there, tour buses remind you of James Brown's life on the road. This mirror-lined walkway hides a pool. The letter B lets you know this is the house Brown built. Our tour guide today is Deanna Brown, the soul singer's daughter. As you know, Dad wanted his home to be a museum. The first thing you'll notice in the foyer is the Christmas tree, still standing nearly six years after he died on Christmas Day. His family hasn't touched it. And I can't help but notice the cotton back here. That cotton was very important to Dad because he never forgot um, where he came from, mm. Richard. He remembered those days picking cotton. Some of her father's possessions were sold at auction, but for the most part, things in the house are just the way he left them, right down to his last Jet magazine cover in 2006. The front door of the house used to be right here. Oh, okay. Okay, this used to be the actual front door of the house mm -hmm. before the foyer was put in here. All right, so what um, do we have here? So this is the family room. This is the den. This is wow. where we spend a lot of fun times. The room with its wood-carved walls, black and white tile floors, and overstuffed leather chair was a favorite spot. The stickers in a display case say it all. Even the light switch was a daily reminder of the street in Augusta that bears his name. And there's a story about this intercom. Dad hardly ever used it to call someone, you know, in another room, because usually he'd be like, hey, Dad, come back here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I would hear him. I, he didn't need a PA system, basically. There's a bar, too, with sunglasses etched with a B and others from some of his favorite places, including the MGM Grand. Vegas loved James Brown. Yes, he played there so, so, so many times. And um, this is where he kept a lot of his hair products and these closets. Hair products? Yes. Godfather's stuff? <laughs> his own hair products. <laughs> so now, after the renovation, it became his salon. Yes, it's the holy grail of this tour. Monogram towels are still folded neatly next to a massage table. Talk about feeling good. Excuse the storage boxes, right. but we had to it's, move them around. It's a work in progress. Yes, it's a work, and it goes to show you that we are working. Mm -hmm. There's work going on. <laughs> yes, but this is where he would sit to uh, get his hair done. Hair products fill the shelves. These are the secrets of James Brown right You know, here, right? right, yeah, 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 that, and that was important to him. Mm -hmm. That was important to him, his hair right. and his teeth. Hair and teeth. That was important, and feet. What about wigs? No, no. wigs? No. Never. At 73 years old, when my father passed, he had a head full of hair. No wig. Never. All right, there's one rumor. Bust, busted. <laughs> Never a wig. I can't tell you about a he, wig. He went to too much trouble for us to be talking Ex about a Well, wig. why? <laughs> With all of this, why? And he always kept it stacked, as you can see. We found box after box. This right here, magnificent. They used to um, advertise this when Soul Train used to come on back in the 70s. With oil sheen conditioner. conditioner. This <laughs> is old school right here. Deanna says his standing order was to buy all they have. Oh, and there's a sauna, too. The hardest working man in show business needs a room like that, don't you think? Needs a room like that so That's he true. can relax, yeah. Back outside, there's something else we noticed. Workers seem to be everywhere. They've already put on a new roof and a drainage system. All signs of progress here. I would love to see his home to be just what he wanted it to be, a museum for the world of his fans to come and see just how James Brown lived, how peaceful it is. He is here. His spirit is so here. Are you willing to share that with the public? Yes, because we had to share Dad with the public.